It's match eight of the SDG Fairbreak Invitational 2022 between the Spirit and the Sapphires, two teams that had their first wins yesterday here at Dubai International Cricket Stadium. Their third and fifth, respectively. The Sapphires had a wonderful chase last night. They won by 10 wickets over the Warriors. And earlier in the day, the Spirit got on the board by defending runs against the Falcons in the day game, batting first, as they will again today after winning the toss. So the team in green, the Spirit, on their way to the middle now with Sarah Bryce from Scotland and Nadakan Chantham from Thailand opening the innings. Ishmael to start. Beats the bat straight away. She was economical yesterday, conceding just 15 runs in her four overs against the Warriors and picked up three for 20 of four in their first game of the comp against the Tornadoes. Ishmael two. That's a much better shot. Bryce on the square drive. Perfect contact, her first boundary and the first boundary of the match. Yeah, it's lovely. It's really well watched there by Sarah Bryce. And always, always nice to be able to hit someone like Shabnam Ismail in that sort of classy style. You know, she's such a fiery character. And just, yeah, it's just one up there for Sarah Bryce. Miss Q should be out, has to be out, is out. Lewis there at mid-wicket. The easiest of chances. Ishmael gets the first wicket for the Sapphires. That just got big on Bryce. Kim Garth there at mid-wicket. Made no mistake. Yeah, that's a jubilant uh, Shabnam Ismail there. Yeah, Sarah Bryce has to trudge off for six. The Spirit are 11 for one after three overs. Bolter here. That's really good bowling from Chan. Getting it above the eye line to Chantham. It's two wickets in three balls for the Sapphires. They're having an excellent start here. Both openers gone. Chantham bolt for three. Yeah, she's just played all around that. And there go her sticks. And oh, it's so nice to see that in slow mode. Yeah, it's the kind of thing that Kerry Chan can watch over and over again. Look at that. She is so excited by that one. I feel like there might have been a little bit of a Kobe celebration here. She was shooting buckets. Yeah, so she's got a trudge off for three. The Spirit are 11 for two in just over three overs. Across the line here and caught at mid-wicket. There's a big moment. Kim Garth gets the third for the Sapphires. Taken by Grace Harris. And Sophia Dunkley walks off with just two next to her name she was instrumental in the victory yesterday georgie but gone yeah. almost immediately today to shank that straight to grace harris yeah she's not got a hold of that and grace harris you couldn't keep her out of the game in sapphire's victory yesterday she wasn't going to drop that one sophia dunkley two from three she trudges off with spirit 15 for three after just five Now Grace Harris, who's turned a couple of aces, an outstanding shot from an outstanding player. Yeah, wonderful to be opening um, earlier on in that power play with seam one end um, and at the other end, well, Ishmael, of course, the fiery Ishmael at the other end, um, Kerry Chan. I mess with the timing of these batters. Oh, reach there by... Ms. Barr on Mother's Day. But it's also this great message about sport as the great equaliser, sport as the great 
uh, diplom diplomatic kind of source. Sport is the great developer. And there's a great way for us to kind of improve the lives of many women, but also start to really raise the awareness of, of what's happening in developing countries. So, you know, I get here and I kind of just see so many things when I'm watching the players as well as cracking cricket. <laughs> yeah, it has been cracking. We've just seen a six crack there. That was pretty impressive as yeah. well. Now, is, is that what attracted you to it? What, what sort of vision do you have for Fairbanks? Yeah, it's a great question. So I think there's a few things. The first is I think we can really innovate women's cricket and innovate cricket. Like if I think about just from things like sustainable uniforms, uh, you know, gender-specific uniforms. We were just mesmerised by Dennis Lilly and Tomo and all these guys, and we just loved it. Uh, and I've just stayed watching it, obsessed with it. And what's been fantastic is women starting to play. And I really regret being 62 because I, I reckon, you know, if it had been available to me to play as a kid, I would have played it. I don't know whether I would have been any good at it, but I would have loved playing it. Edges of runs in this format. Just releasing the pressure valve here. Carey looking to open up. Gets a feather. And another forward. What that? Well, and each one of these forwards, that's middle of the bat. And the, the time that behind point when you're playing at the front foot, that's a phenomenal shot. One of my favourite things in this whole tournament is the celebration, Sita Ranamaga. We had an interview with her and it was amazing. Ishwami, that was one of my favourite moments from this tournament. The expressions, the celebrations, it's just been, it's just captured the essence of this tournament and the celebrations and just bringing these people from around the world as we see Diana Baig rip up the tornado. Great shot, that's absolutely raced away off the bat actually for four and there we go, the spirit are back. Down the wicket, lovely strike over the top and it's one bounce four, cracking straight as he comes down the wicket and advantage, Nicola Carey. Ready. And a reverse again, it's through. It's going to keep coming, and it's four. What a way to finish the over. The last five overs, they've been going almost 10 and over. That takes the score 72 for three up to 12. Oh, commentator's curse. That's full, and it's pulled out, and it's just the one. Mal, you've got a lot to answer for. Well, I did say she was tall. It's just that the batter's not that tall. <laughs> So we have another look at it, controlled by Maroof and I'll tell you what, I'm going to be raising that when we're back at the hotel and putting you in it now. Oh, it's just gone through everyone, it was a great bit of bowling from Kadali on the, on the no ball and oh, it's unfortunate to see what the umpire has to say, it is buys. Oh. Hit hard straight, that's care. Oh no, it's dropped. It's dropped. Oh, that struck nicely, it's through the field. It's four. It's a disappointing little face here. Carey versus Carey down the ground. It's a self a boundary. Nicely struck. Just picked it up on the ball, smacked it back over her head. Nick Carey moves to 50 herself. Really important innings coming in when she did. And the captain has led the way through the middle overs. Seven boundaries, one six. Gets the reverse away. Clever batting. Nick Carey's playing a wonderful hand here. Taking on mid-off, getting through comfortably. Direct hit, a bit of fielding there. But yes, the where she was from, the San Francisco Bay Area, is... Oh, we're going to send it upstairs. Uh, I thought she was through comfortably, but let's watch this through. We're going to look... Make sure that Ismar made our ground.
past the crease line comfortably by about two and a half feet. Not out up on the screen. Carey here with her 58 from 39. Bit off inside the circle. And that's the direction that Carey goes, up and over the top. Does it well, gets herself a boundary. Good option there for Carey, using her feet to spin as she's done throughout this innings. Harris, Harris moves angle over the wicket. And that gives Carey the chance to open up the leg side. Really well played. Across her stumps, committed to the stroke early. And the execution was spot on. Got the pressure back on, staying over the wicket. Full toss, back over her head, four more. Three fours on the trot for the Spirits captain. She races through the 60s, 70 from 42 now. Will she go again? Up over sweat, no it isn't. Take it on the edge of the circle. It was worth going again. Yeah, it was just one too many there from Nicola Carey, and that's caught cleanly by yesterday's player of the match, Gabby Lewis. She departs for 70 from 43. I think it was on. I mean, again, using her feet on that angle, trying to go over the top where there wasn't a field up, back on the rope, but didn't quite have the elevation that time. Nevertheless, a partnership of 114. Carey, the captain, 70 from 43 in the spirit with 13 balls to go, 129 for four. Shorter, pulled away into the gap, nicely played. Bisma swiveling in the crease. Eccleston across the line, gets good elevation, can go all the way at will. Eccleston off the mark from her sixth delivery with a six. It's really good batting. Nothing wrong with the delivery from Garth, but she squeezed it through backward point. Gets herself a boundary. Through the offside again, through the hands of backward point. Already 14 runs from four deliveries in the 20th over. Bang! That's big from Eccleston. It's a huge over this. Eccleston gallops to 20. And that's how many runs have been taken from five deliveries in this Kim Garth over. Across the stumps, inside the line of it. Resourceful modern batting from the England all-rounder. That's what we can call her right now. Batting the way she is at the death for the spirit. They're above 150. One ball to go. Surely she goes again to finish. Pace off. Scamper through for a leg bite. Direct hit, but it's a moot point because Bismar Maroof has made it through. And that will be the end of the 20 overs. They collected 59 runs in the death phase of five overs, losing Nick Carey for 70. Bismar Maroof integral to the recovery from 15 for three to 129 for four to 156 for four. So the target for the Sapphires is 157. We'll be back with the chase in just a moment. That new ball, shiny surface. It sometimes spin if you hit the seam, sometimes skids on. So nice start from Dunklet. And she's not having a look at the bowling. The bowling's having a look at her. You can't get off the mark in any better fashion than that. Targeting the spinners here. There it goes, out the back of the hand. It's got a bit of rip on it. Just gets to the pitch of the ball. Gives it a talk. Villani. She's in form. And it pays off. Dunkley whites it up, tosses up, teases. And Villani chops one on. Victory for tactics, victory for Sophia Dunkley. An absolute golden wicket. Villani. Looking to go big right from the start. Here she goes. There's no movement there. There's no grip and turn. She gets down on one knee, and that is flighted above the eye line. Gives it plenty of air to the new batsman, the batter. Out for six. And it pays.
is up as well. The perfect delivery through the gate. Shades of the first innings. Getting a little wobble on that um, kaka. And there she goes with the first ball of her first spell, getting a wicket. That of Delee, the opener. Babette Delee. Really come forward to that. There's no foot movement. And there's movement off the seam. Great celebration from uh, Kaka. Of South Africa, the Netherlands back in the hutch. Devon runs for two wickets. Huntley gets a second over. This is clubbed away by Grace Harris. <laughs> that is Harris-esque. Premeditated reverse is delightful. Will it go all the way? Yes. The field has just moved over from backward point. Over to backward square. Driven beautifully once again. Well, it's a, a toughie. Sorry, Izzy. Yeah, that's, that's a toughie. It, you think it's going to be a catch, and it just lands at your feet. A little unfortunate for the bowler. Good luck for the batter. 24 for two or three. And it's caught, and it's caught off a full toss. That's a soft dismissal there from Harris, who was just getting going. I think Grace commentated herself. I just heard, you're kidding, from Grace, who has belted a full toss, but you've got to hit the gaps, Grace. Oh, yeah, I hit that. Well, no, you haven't. And terrific catch it, just... As the Americans would say, that's the snow cone. And Grace Harris goes, little careless, it must be seen with that shot, 24 for three. That's in the air as well, don't tell me. Another one to Dunkley. A full one's a wicket, a short one's a wicket. Horror story here for the Sapphires. Four down now, 24 for four is the score, and that has gone down to Dunkley again. Catching practice out there at square leg. It's Kaka who's in amongst the wickets. Three for two are her score, is her score. Gets underneath it well, Dunkley, watching it all the way. Makes it nice and low. English style catching there. Whatever works, <laughs> it's got to catch him. Four down, the other Sapphires, they are in a world of pain. Coming around the wicket there. Let's just play behind square. And played well. He's looking for different angles here, Sophie Eccleston. Oh, another one, Kaka, angling in through the gate. Bales fall, and Lewis can't carry on her form from last night. High fives all round. That finishes the power play. Sapphires 32 for five after six. So classy from Kaka. She is on a roll tonight. That's four wickets for the South African quick. Yes, Sapphire's 32 for five. Gabby Lewis gone for 18 from 15. Harry Chan. It's over. As they hit the rope on the full. Great shot from the young Hong Kong player. Another lovely shot by Kerry Chen. She's gone over the top and that's another four runs. She's taken on Sophia Dunkley here. Huge effort by the young batter. And the Sapphires at the end of the ninth over, 48 for five. Lee Dallin comes down and swipes that one wide of long on. How to defend that shot. And Jane Allen's way a good start, 15 off 19 from her. This one's in the air and this could be out. Yes. Sophie Eccleston doesn't put him down. Boochathan takes a wicket as Katie Martin departs as well. Thank you very much for your contribution. Uh, Carrie Chan just getting into a bit of stride. Can't quite get it over the field. And Boochathan takes her first wicket. 
Well, as soon as you hit it, it looked like trouble. The buckets of Eccleston does the job. 15 overs gone here. The Fires lose another one there, 78 for six. Again, there's the movement we saw a couple of days ago when Mogul picked up a wicket with her first ball. You know, just tucking up Alan there. Good tight bowling here from, from Mogul. The UAE. Yeah, she had a really good series against Hong Kong last week. Picked up two for ten in one game and two for eight in another. Led the team into the global qualifier. They were involved in, or should I say, the Asia qualifier last year. The global qualifiers later this year for the UAE. T20 World Cup that's February next year. Good vantage point there for the bird on top of the Toblerone. Straight again from Ismail to finish and gets herself a boundary. So nice hitting for the South African to complete the 16th over. Nine runs from it. They still need 70 from four overs though. Down at 87 for six. Catch. Yep. Dunkley. Excellent. Bridgerton gets a second wicket. That of Ishmael. Severe Dunkley. Fabulous all-round cricketer. Third catch now for Dunkley. Just reaching for that Ishmael. Again, trying to swing the arms through it. Oh, great catch. Just caught in front of her. Wonderful athleticism there from... Uh, but it's Ishmael who's out. She is angry. She is spitting. Says a bit about the competitive instincts of Shabin Ismail. Gone for six from four. The Sapphires are going to lose this game. They're 88 for seven as part of that scholarship. So great that she's getting that all-round experience. Oh, Stumped here, though. Eccleston, too good. The previous delivery fired in, missed the mark, and predictably from the experienced finger spinner, held that one back, got it above the eye line. Light couldn't resist, and he stumped as a consequence. Gone for one. There is that left arm magic. Mm. Just lures her out of the crease. Cleverly done. The bales whipped off. And Dunkley, of course, left with two overs in this um, innings at the, at, the, at the end of this uh, innings here. The death, Emma Light. Out for one, 93 for eight. He's ticking along nicely. That's a nice shot from Jade Allen. Out through the covers. Not a lot of room to work with there. Oh, that's a five for throw, Bonga Kaka. Four in the power play and comes back to complete the first five wicket bag of Fair Break Invitational. One of the best bowlers in the world. And here at Dubai International Cricket Stadium, she's reinforcing why. Link stump bent back. Look at that prominent seam. Exceptional from her. Her figure's now five for nine. As uh, Kadali is her final victim, or she may not be her final victim. She's still got two balls left in that over. The score now 98 for nine here. Out towards deep mid wicket, hanging in the air. And it is the final wicket. Eccleston gets her second. The Sapphires all out for 101. They've been thumped by 55 runs by the Spirit. Principally due to an outstanding spell of seam up bowling from Ayabunga Kaka, who took her first five for in T20 cricket along the way. But they've all played a role, including Sophie Eccleston finishing with two for 10. Carey, 70 from 43. Remembering, they came together at 15 for three, Carey and Bismar Maroof. It was 40 not out from 44 when the innings came to an end. Ishmael, one for 14, the most economical spell of the competition. Chan taking one early as well, but scoreboard pressure got to the Sapphires. This has done quite a bit in the competition. That's the fifth time in eight games where the team that's batted first has taken the chocolates. The Spirit, victorious by 55 runs.